New crash tests suggest the country's steel highway guardrails can't handle heavy electric trucks. EVs, like this one here, typically weigh 20 to 50 percent more than gas-powered vehicles thanks to the batteries. Those batteries alone can weigh as much as a small gas-powered car in some cases. They also have a lower center of gravity. Together, this happens. Brace yourself. Pretty dramatic, huh? Engineers at the University of Nebraska tested this nearly four-ton Rivian truck. You can see it tore, tore through the first metal guardrail and hardly slowed until it hit a concrete barrier a few yards away. So here's that same crash from another angle. All happened pretty quickly, so we want to slow this down for you so you can get a, a better look at what's happening. Watch carefully. You can see the truck is coming at the barrier at an angle. The steel guardrail just peels away like it's the tape at a finish line. Even when it hits the barrier, it goes up and over. Amazingly, there's almost no damage to the interior of the cab, but that is not the point of this crash test. The entire purpose of guardrails is to keep vehicles from leaving the road. Cliffs, waterways, and rocky terrain is where most off-road deaths happen. Engineers say more testing is needed, but as electric vehicles become more common, they say they'll need to determine how to make better barriers to minimize the effects of crashes for both lighter vehicles and heavy electric ones. So, Bruce, you mentioned that engineers are working on the problem. What about the government? Well, that's a good question. The National Transportation Safety Board did express some concerns last year about the safety risks these heavy electric vehicles pose if they hit the lighter vehicles. Federal Highway Administration is aware of those new tests, but so far not commenting about the findings. On a positive note, the problem could eventually sort itself out as manufacturers work to make smaller batteries that weigh less and carry more power. So it's a matter of time. Mm -hmm.